Hey everybody, this is Cool Scratch Tutorials, and today we are going to be going over how to make different levels inside of a game. Last episode we ended off with a gravity script, and if you haven't watched that, I highly recommend you do. The first thing we want to do is actually make the levels themselves. So let's go into our ground, let's go up to costumes, and let's actually make the costumes itself. So I'm going to go down here, click paint. For this one, I'm going to make it go start right here, go here, go up, maybe straight a little, go down, something like that. And then let's change it to this time. I'm going to make it go up like this, go straight, up, he has to make a jump, and then all the way down. Okay, once you've made all your levels, let's go into the code section of your ground. Go to events, when green flag clicked, go to the position it's in right now, and then go to looks, and drag in the switch costume, and we want it to be the very first one, to costume one. You click the green flag, it will start at the very beginning of the level. After this, we're going to make a way for it to change levels. So I'm going to go here, click on choose a sprite, and maybe I'll just click the basketball for now. To make it seem like a portal, I'm going to go here, drag in the one green flag clicked, get a forever loop, go up to looks, change color effect by 5, and then click motion, and then turn 15 degrees. So now we can see it looks like a portal. I'm going to drag it to where I want it to be. And then drag in the go to above the forever. So now it looks like a portal. After that, we're going to go to our main sprite. Drag in a when green flag clicked. Forever. If then. Get an operator. Drag the and statement in. Go up to sensing. Drag in touching basketball. After making this line of code, we want to go into backdrops. And for each different level, we're going to want to make a di different backdrop. So, for another one, I'm going to make one with the boardwalk. I'm going to delete this empty one. Then I'm going to choose maybe hay field. And then I'll choose the space city. So if we go and click on backdrops, we want to go to events, when green flag clicked, switch backdrop to boardwalk. So if touching basketball and we want to go down here, drag in the backdrop number, go to operators, drag in the equal sign, put that in the equal sign, backdrop number equals one. You can put that in there. So basically, if the backdrop is this and it's touching the basketball, it can switch to level two. We're gonna go to events and then broadcast message one. Drag in the when I receive message one. Go to motion, go to looks, switch costume to costume two. Same with the backdrop. Go to events, when I receive message one, go up to looks, switch backdrop to, to Hayfield. Let's go back down here, right click it, drag the duplicate, and let's change this to backdrop number two. And then get a new message, and let's call it message two. Go to ground, copy this, switch out the message two and switch that to costume 3. Go to backdrop, duplicate this, switch that to message 2, and switch that to space city. So if we press the green flag, we can see he goes up here. When he touches the portal, it will change, but he goes to, he stays at that one spot. We don't want that. So he's gonna send a message to himself. When I receive message 1, we want him to go 
dragging the motion, get the exact coordinates. I already have it because it's loaded in. So now when we press the green flag, when he'll go, he'll go up, it will switch, he'll go up, but we still have the same problem. So let's duplicate this, drag it down, change that to message two. So if we press the green flag, we will start at the boardwalk. We can walk up to the portal, it'll change levels. We can walk up again, it will change levels. Also, we want to go when green flag clicked, duplicate the go to block, and now we've created every single level we need to do. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you learned something new, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.